The NES Classic Edition is a wonderful reminder that the great 8-bit classics will never die. This tiny retro console comes preloaded with 30 mostly great games from the NES era, with headliners like Super Mario Bros., Mega Man 2, and Punch-Out! as part of an attractive $59.99 package. Its high-quality emulation wipes the floor with the Wii U's ugly NES Virtual Console. But for all of its remarkable authenticity, the ridiculously short controller wires make it a pain to use. The attention to detail on the NES Classic is impressive right out of the box. The small lightweight console captures the look and feel of the original Nintendo Entertainment System, right down to the soft, clickable power and reset buttons. Almost every inch of it is exactly the way you remember it, just smaller. The few differences include an HDMI and a USB power input on the back. There's also a custom menu screen that lovingly captures the look of 90s style icons. The wired NES controller follows the same reverent attention to detail, but the D-pad feels much smoother and lighter than the uncomfortably hard plastic Nintendo used on the original. But the catch is that the controllers connect to the system using painfully short 2.5 foot cables through the Wii accessory connector. That's a proprietary port, and Nintendo doesn't sell wireless adapters. That means you either have to sit close to your television, purchase a cable extender for the controller, or invest in long HDMI and power extension cords. The fact that you have to push the reset button to pop into the home menu and choose another game only makes this issue worse, since the console has to be within reach if you want to save the state of the game or jump into a different one. True, wired controllers guarantee zero input lag when you're playing retro games, but I'd rather have a few milliseconds of lag than be forced to sit a few feet away from my TV. Thankfully, the colorful worlds of these 30 classic NES games have never looked better. Whether you're exploring the colorful, imaginative stages of Super Mario Bros. 3, or combing every corner of Hyrule for hidden secrets in The Legend of Zelda, this little console makes these games look their best. You can choose to display games in a crystal clear 4x3 mode, an artificially fuzzy CRT mode, and pixel perfect mode, which gives the game a more modern look. The high quality emulation of the NES Classic can stand toe to toe with much more expensive retro console setups. The biggest downside though is that the library of 30 games is all the NES Classic Edition will ever be able to play, because there's no way to buy or load new games. If you want to play, say, Ice Hockey or Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse, you have to hope it's on a hypothetical NES Classic Edition 2. The selection of 30 beautifully emulated classic games makes a strong case to own an NES Classic as a way to easily revisit old favorites and introduce them to new generations. Nintendo made sure to pick the visual filters that made the most sense for its first dedicated classic video game machine. I just can't understand why someone thought that limiting us with a two and a half foot controller cable was a good idea, because it really limits where and how you can enjoy these games. For Nintendo, classic gaming, and revisiting the best parts of your childhood, stick with IGN.